Hey, right now I'm gonna teach you the introvert's guide to networking. Hey, it's Ted McGrath and right now, no, hey, it's Ted McGrath and right now I'm gonna teach you the introvert's guide to networking, all right? And I've got this free gift right now on networking tips. Download it right now, it'll help you follow along with this presentation and it's a deep dive training on networking, so you're gonna love it, okay? So let's jump right in on the four secrets that I'm gonna teach you right now on networking. And this works for introverts, okay? Because believe it or not, I'm an introvert. I'm truly an introvert, I really am, I'm shy. No, I'm an introvert, I really am. By nature, I'm truly an introvert. A lot of people see this and they're like, this guy's an introvert, like you see me on stage, or they see me doing a play, I'm actually an introvert. I'm not like the most outgoing person on the face of the planet. Now over the years, I've become much more extroverted, but what really is that introvert, extrovert, whatever kind of vert you are, right? What is that really? I mean, if you get used to talking to people, it actually is a fun thing. Now I'm gonna teach you a four step system right now on how to be amazing at networking, whether you're an introvert or whether you're an extrovert or whether you're one of those other kind of verts, okay? So here's the deal, right? The first thing you wanna know before you go to a networking event is you wanna know what your statement is. All right, now you might be wondering like, who is this guy, Ted McGrath? Well, I've made millions of dollars through this simple networking formula. Yes, my entire business is online right now, but before I went online, I made millions networking all across the country and I'm gonna share with you the secrets right now. So the first thing is your statement of what you actually say to a customer, okay? It's your statement. It's also referred to as your message of what you're going to say. Now a lot of times people have trouble going to a networking event because when the big question comes up of what do you do, you don't feel confident in what you do. Or maybe you feel confident in what you do but you don't know how to communicate what it is that you do. Aha, right? I can tell you, after 19 years of being in business, this is my 20th year right now, I still don't feel comfortable communicating what it is that I do. It's just a weird thing. Like how do you, in like 10 seconds, really like seven seconds, tell somebody what it is that you do and try and get the whole communication across? It's really kind of difficult and that's the problem. When people walk into a networking event, they're like, what do you do? You either, one, have verbal diarrhea and you just go all over the person, right? We ever do that? With, what do you do? Well, you know, I'm a financial advisor and I teach, I sell mutual funds and, you know, we have this really good hedge fund where we raise $50 trillion and, and now we're helping clients all over the country and it's a really, really good thing and you should sign up for my program because blah, 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 and you just spit out all over the person. It's horrible. It's terrible. It's verbal diarrhea. Don't do that, all right? It's bad. Bad, right? We've all done it before though, right? Or you're one of these people where you're not giving too much information like that, but you're giving too much of your backstory. So he's like, what do you do? Well, when I was six months old in the crib and I was peeing all over myself, you know, I really had this idea that I should you know, stop peeing all over myself. And then I went to kindergarten and I, then I pooped my pants and I realized I shouldn't poop my pants anymore. And then I graduated and I grew up and I became a financial advisor. It's like, dude, what is the relevancy of that? What are you telling me your whole life history? Right, you're giving me your backstory. When I'm not interested in your backstory, I ask you, what do you do? And you haven't told me anything except poop and diarrhea and all that stuff, right? I don't wanna hear that. I wanna hear what you actually do. So how do you make this simple so that you don't give your backstory? Now you might be going, Ted, but shouldn't I tell my story? Because I've seen your stuff online and you talk about story. Yes, but we're gonna to get to your story in a second. But to only the relevant parts of your story should you tell. So here's a little thing, right? I help people do this so they can have or become that. Write that down. All right, you can use this at a networking event. If you're online and you wanna reach millions of people online, you can use this too. It is a statement or a headline that you use that is simple. Here's the thing, if somebody doesn't understand what you're saying, you're done. If you lose them at hello, right, like Jerry Maguire, like you had me at hello, well shit, you're gonna lose them at hello at a networking event if you don't know how to say this in seven seconds. So you gotta be simple, I help people do this. What are you helping them do, right? So for example, I'm going to help you network better so you can get more clients and feel more confident. Simple. So if, if I was teaching networking to the world, which really, like networking is not my main thing that I teach, it's just something that I've learned and developed and I teach people part of that in my programs. 
but I'm teaching it to you now because I know it's such a valuable skill and everybody should have it, right? So if networking was my main topic, right? Let's just say that's what I taught for a living as the core thing, right? What I really teach for a living is my, pro my program called Message to Millions. All right, we'll get to that in a second. That's naming and branding of your system or your program or your products. We'll get there in a second, right? But for you, whatever the main thing is that you do, you need to tell people. So I just give you an example. If I was teaching networking solely or that was my thing, I would say that. Let's give another example. Let's say you buy and sell businesses, right? Well, if somebody's like, what do you do? Rather than give them the whole backstory of how it came to be, you just go, I buy and sell businesses so that other companies can flourish and I can make a difference in the world. Pretty simple, right? Pretty easy, right? So if I'm listening to that, I'm like, oh, he buys and sells companies so that other people can flourish or other companies can flourish. I'm like, oh, well, interesting. Like I have a company, maybe I could flourish from this. You could buy my company or something like that, right? So I'm listening as the listener, I'm listening for like, what's the benefit and the outcome to me? If I'm teaching speaking or speak, like my profession is speaking, I might say something like, I teach public speakers how to master the art of speaking so they can get a standing ovation. Pretty simple, right? So whatever it is you do, you gotta tell people. If you're a health practitioner and you say something like, well, I help people reignite their vitality and their health so they can be more productive at work and they can have a more fulfilling life. So there's a doingness to it and there's then we're helping them do something, we're helping people do something so they can have and become something. Now it's not enough for you to sit there and go like, I'm a financial advisor or I'm a health practitioner or I'm a, I buy businesses. Like buying businesses, it tells us a little bit about what you do, but you tell me you're a financial advisor, you tell me you're a health practitioner, I don't know what that is, you know? Even if you tell me you're a dentist, I, like tell me what you do as a dentist, right? Because otherwise I'm just associated with pain. So maybe there's a better way to talk about being a dentist and telling us what you do. Like I, you know, I help people have really healthy teeth in a pain-free way so that they can have a very fulfilling smile and so their breath is really good. That's telling me what you do, you see? So the statement is super, super important to actually communicating at a networking event. Now, don't be one of these people at a networking event where somebody walks up and like you jump right in and you're like, hey, I'm Ted and I help people do X, Y, Z, blah, 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 right? Like that is called stupidity, right? Because you're that person who's running around handing out your card, telling everybody what you do and you have no connection with people. So before you tell somebody your statement, one, if they ask, you answer the question, right? But also don't be that person who walks around a networking event and is like, hey, what do you do? Nice to meet you, I'm Ted, right? Nobody likes that either. So you wanna be the person in a networking event who's going and you're really there to meet a couple people. See, a couple of the right people could change an entire business rather than 20 different people who you have no relationship with. So networking, the key to it is creating a relationship with the right people, okay? Now one of the ways to be the right people is not to be, I was about to say something else, not to be a dope about it, right? So if you're walking in, hey, here's my business card. Hey, I do this, blah, 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 blah. Hey, let me talk to 40 people in a room and not get to know anybody. Like no, nobody wants to be around that guy and the people who want to be around that guy are the people who are like that guy or that girl. So don't be like that because it's not profitable and it's not successful and you don't build relationships and it's not fulfilling, okay? So start with the statement. The second thing you want to start with after you hit the statement and after you, you know, you walk in and you might, you do some small talk, right? So it's kind of like before you go, what do you do? So I'm like, hey, how are you? My name's Ted McGrath, oh, great to meet you, awesome. Oh, what brought you here? Because you have something in common already as the networking event. So you know you have something in common. So what brought you to this event? And then they tell you, oh, well, I really wanted to learn about speaking, or I really wanted to learn about marketing, or I really wanted to learn about plants, or I really wanted to learn about whatever, right? So whatever it is, it's like, oh, oh great, that's interesting, that's what brought me here too. So now I'm like this person. We have something in common from the get-go. Then they go, what do you do? And they're listening a little bit because like, oh, we're here at the same place. We're kind of connecting. So you start off slowly and then the what do you do question comes out from either side. All right? So just think of networking as communication, just having a conversation. So the first point is statement. I help people do this so they can never become that. The second point is story. Now the person's looking at you and if I go something like, hey, I buy, you know, I buy and sell businesses so people can X, Y, Z, 
And the person's looking at me like, okay, what now they're, the question they have is, what's this person's credibility? So without telling us, look, listen, I have a master's degree from this place, or without just like sitting there and pulling out your resume or telling us how great you are, nobody likes somebody who sits there and be like, oh, I'm so great at this and I graduated from this place and I got all these degrees. Like, nobody likes that arrogant putz in a freaking networking event, right? So in that way, you can still deliver your credibility without being the putz, right? You can do it in a way where you tell a story and the story that you tell should be like 60 seconds for a networking event. So if somebody goes to me like, hey Ted, what do you do? Oh, I work with entrepreneurs all over the world. I help them get their message or products or programs or services out to millions so they can serve millions and make millions. Pretty simple, right? So we're like, Ted, how do you, like, how do, you do that? And they're like, weirdly, how'd you get started in that? They're like, okay, is this guy credible? I'm like, you know, when I was 21 years old, uh, I started the insurance business and like, I made six figures in income because my boss wanted me to. And that night I overdosed from drugs and alcohol, I almost died and you know, I woke up the next day, I was like, wow, I chased the money, but that wasn't really the answer. But then I had the answer because I was like, I'm gonna go make partner with this company and I did. I was one of the top partners in the company, but then I had that question that most people have, like, is this all there is to my life? And then I became an entrepreneur and I moved to California, I started out a couple businesses, but then one day I woke up and I was like on my couch, I got a foreclosure notice in the mail and my car's getting turned on my driveway and I'm like broke. Like what do I want to do with my life? What do I want to do with my life? And then I realized I wanted to make a difference in the world. I wanted to teach something and I wanted to share my message and my gift with the world. So I created this brand called Message to Millions, which basically teaches people what I just told you. Boom, done, 60 seconds, you see? So I now have shared with them, right? Then I woke up and I realized I'm teaching this and I made millions of dollars, blah, 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 right? So they now see my credibility, but they also see my vulnerability. So the power of the story, you notice my vulnerable moment was down on the kitchen floor, overdosed from drugs and alcohol, almost dead. I'm vulnerable with them, there's trust. My breakthrough moment was then, then I realized I wanted to go out and make a difference in the world. So I started up this business and now I have a multi-million dollar company and I'm doing what I love. Boom, right? So I get the vulnerability, I get the credibility, that's storytelling. 60 seconds, soup to nuts, done. Now, if you don't know how to tell stories in 60 seconds, just write down right now what was your low point and what was your high point in your journey. Tell people that, okay? The third thing that you should do, a system. You should have a system for what you do. If you're there and you're selling something to me, I, I wanna know that you have a formula, you have a blueprint, or you have a system. Make sense? So for me, people are like, well, Ted, that's an amazing story. Like, how did you do that? Now, by the way, when you're at a networking event, you're not like, you're not like hey, my name's Tepper Grath and I help people do X, Y, Z, and my story is this, and my system is this, and hey, you know, sign up with me. You don't go blah, 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 blah. A networking is a communication, right? It's, it's communication, it's relationships. So these four steps that I'm giving you are tools that you have that you pull out when you're ready to pull them out. You pull them out when the customer gives you an opportunity or the potential customer gives you a segue to bring it up such as they ask a question, well, how'd you get started on that? Well, funny you should ask, when I was 20 years, 21 years old, this. Well, well, Ted, that's interesting. How do you do that? Well, interesting you should ask. I, you know, I have this system called the message to million system. You see? Or they might say something like, and this is the final, the fourth S, right? Remember statement, story, system. You should name your system or your process that gets clients results. Doesn't matter what you're doing. If, you're, if you have a dental process, you might be like, the double D dentist system for greater teeth or some shit like that, right? So you do stuff like this and you name your system, right? If you're doing financial stuff, you might be the financial freedom formula, right? Mine's the message to million system. If you're doing like business buying, you might be like buying businesses for great, I don't even know what I'm gonna say right now, but you get the point. Name your system, name your brand, okay? So you gotta name the system because when you name the system, it brings it to life, okay? So that's precisely how I would do it is like name a system so I have a process. If I'm selling homes, right, I would wanna to talk to people about like, um, I have the perfect home formula or the perfect home system. So my customer's thinking they're going, oh, the perfect home, I'm looking for the perfect home, right? If I'm, if I'm let's think of another profession, let's say um, I'm, I'm teaching, let's think of something else, let's think of, uh, uh, boats, you're in the boating business and you're selling boats, right? Yes, I, I have uh, uh, the beautiful boat system. What's that? Oh, it's a system I created to help people find their, the most beautiful boat they've always dreamed of, right? Or I, I have the dream boat system. What is that? It's a, it's a system I created for helping people find the precise dream boat that they've always dreamed of having so that they can sail away to another country and never return again, right? So this is how it goes. It's like you make up 
a name to your system so people are like, wow, there's a system, there's a process, there's a formula, okay? Now, there's a whole other thing that I talk about here, which is about like steps to the system, but that's when you're selling it, and I'm not gonna do it in that video. You'll have to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that, okay? So, the next thing that I wanna talk to you about right now, and the final thing is, I call it a strategy session, okay? So, if you're in a business where you're selling stuff face-to-face, you should have with your clients strategic consultations. All right, some strategic consult. Like if I were to go get sized up for a boat, they'd sit down with me, they'd ask me what I'm looking for, they'd have an initial consultation. If I were to go look for a house, most of the time people should have an initial consultation. They don't really, they just send you a whole bunch of stuff. I don't think that's the right way to do it. If I were to go to a dentist, they might just go like, sit in the chair, let me clean your teeth. Or they might have you fill out some survey that's like, you know, they're not getting to what you're looking for. So you should have a strategic consultation with your customers that's 45 to 60 minutes long. So at the end of a networking event, when somebody goes, well, how, do I, how do I duplicate that system of message to millions, Ted? Or like, how do I get this result of finding my dream boat? Or how do I get this result of getting that perfect house? Or how do I get this result of doing whatever, right? They're thinking of it because you've done such a good job of your statement, of your story, and your system. So at this time, they're primed. They're ready, right? You have a process for networking that gets them ready for the final step. Because if you left a networking event and you met this person and you were just kind of like sitting there at the end, it's like, okay, I'll follow up with you sometime, see you later, okay, bye, you know, and you don't do anything, there's no action. Well, all the work you put in with the first three steps is for nothing, right? At the end, you look at a networking event where you want to close the opportunity. Right now, you don't really ever close anything, right? You actually open up new doors. So we should call it, you know, um, always be opening, right? Instead of always be closing, right? I even have a book called Never Be Closing. But you want to hammer that thing because you want to get that thing cemented in your calendar because when you do, that's how you're going to get customers, all right? So what do you do? So let's say I'm sitting here and you're, you're engaged. You're like, Ted, tell me about that system. I'm like, here's the thing. I know we got to get back inside in a minute. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to offer you up a free message to millions coaching session, right? And what I'm gonna do on the coaching session is number one, you know, you told me a little bit about yourself, so I, I'd like to help you accomplish your most important goal for getting your message to millions. The second thing I'd like to do is talk about the challenge that's preventing you in your marketing from getting your brand out to millions. And the third thing I'd like to do is give you a plan and path to actually succeed in accomplishing your most important goal. So why don't we set up a meeting that's totally free, and by the way, you know, I get how these things can be a little bit weird sometimes where you're like, he's gonna sell me something, blah, blah, blah. Here's the deal. At the end of the conversation, if you got value, of course you're gonna wanna reach for one of my programs and get more value. It just makes sense. If you feel at the end of the conversation you didn't get value, then that's okay. We part ways, we're friends, and you tell people great things about me, okay? All right, grab your calendar right now. Why don't we put it in your calendar? How does Tuesday at four o'clock look, okay? Tuesday at four doesn't look. How does three o'clock look? Oh, I have to check my schedule. I have to think about it a little bit. What do you need to think about? Your schedule's right there. I'll pull out your phone. Oh yeah, okay, great. So how's Wednesday look? Okay, fantastic. Let's put a Wednesday at 3.30, okay? And by the way, um, I know life gets busy and since I'm doing this for free, normally I charge $5,000 an hour for my time. So I'd really appreciate it that we make a commitment right now that we're both gonna show up. I will be there. Will you be there? Yeah? Do we have an agreement? Okay, shake hands. See you soon. These are the four things that you need to know. Statement, story, system, strategic consultation. Invite them for free to this thing. Why? Because the more value you give to somebody, the more like you're to get somebody to sign up and become a customer, okay? So I hope you like this, okay? If you want to get the free gift, it's right here. And the free gift is on networking tips right here. It's a deep dive into the training. You should download it right now if you haven't. It'll help you understand this presentation better and also give you more great information in a very strategic step-by-step -step way. So grab it right now. It's here. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from me and you want to learn more great stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you like this and this served you, I'd love for you to serve me back by liking this video right now. And then finally, if you have questions, I'm here to serve you. So ask them down below in the comment box and I will see you soon in the next video, my friend. You're a rock star. Talk to you soon. Bye.